Bobby. Um, I just got married again not too long ago. And my husband, my husband is deaf. He has no sense of smell. But I have a serious farting problem. <laughs> it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> of spiders, and I blame my dear old Aunt Nadia. Now I know when she was my age, she had a farting problem. <laughs> and she told me when she farted, it was spiders barking. <laughs> Aunt Nadia is not a lie, but she loved politics every time uh, she would tell me. I remember she called me a, a once about my cousin Nestor, and she said, hello, I have a problem with cousin Nestor. I said, what's he done now? Ah, he thinks he's Stephen Harper's love child. I said, what's he doing? He is taking money from poor cousins, and he's giving to rich cousins. <laughs> but he makes me wear socks because he says the flapping on the floor <laughs> drives me crazy. <laughs> I am um, doing uh, things to ward off dementia and I, they say learn a new language. So I am learning Spanish. Hola! 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 de mail. I went to Mexico and I thought of a my newly acquired Spanish skills and ordered my first breakfast. So I ordered it. And the waiter ran off laughing. All the other waiters were laughing. I had ordered eggs and testicles. <laughs> <laughs> and also in learning something new, I'm 75 and I am learning how to drive. From the Ladybug Driving School. She's here. Um, but there's a little confusion. I don't want to get lost. So I want a GPS that somebody tells you how to get there with a sexy male vo voice that calls me honey. <laughs> and promises to kiss me all over when I reach my destination. <laughs> Awful for us seniors. There's nothing out there. I mean, uh, all the reality shows like Real Housewives of Vancouver. Oh my gosh. I would like to see like programs for us. What do you say, then? Seniors, come on. Some reality shows for us. Yeah. I'd like to see maybe Dancing with Walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Real Housewives of Dead Husbands. <laughs> Survivor. And the winner would be the person, the old person that survives the BC healthcare system. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, wasn't easy being a single senior either. Dating is pretty difficult. There are so many more men than women. But I did try senior speed dating. Now, that's a bit of an oxymoron, don't you think? <laughs> I went to the live public library and there a hundred men showed up. One woman. So they put this poor old guy in the gym, put chairs around him, and we played musical chairs. <laughs> the winner was the last woman sitting, and they got to date him if he was still alive. <laughs> When you get older, you get to go to a lot of funerals. And I asked my husband, what do you like anything about going to funerals? He said, yeah, 
buttered tarts and brownies. <laughs> the last time we went to the graveyard, I looked at a stone. It was my friend Mary. That's why she hasn't returned my call. <laughs> Young, I wanted to be a blonde with big boobs, a Marilyn Monroe. I mean, that was the image. But things come for those, to those who wait. I am now an Arctic blonde, and I have the big boobs, but they're the same size as my stomach. <laughs> like the others, I have a bucket list. I came here from Winnipeg. Anybody here from Winnipeg? Woo! Many years ago on the Greyhound bus. And on my bucket list, I want to go back on that trip. But I have a serious leakage problem. Sometimes I kiss my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going? Depends. person is, you know, hyperactivity, but all seniors want to be A-A-D. You know what it is? No. I'm alive another day! <laughs>